Hi everyone! Today I will show you how I create this responsive animation in Adobe XD for my Instagram. So, let's begin! I am prepared two artboards for Instagram. This is desktop preview and mobile view. My project width is 1920 and same size I am choose for my artboards 1920-1920. Now let's create screen, press R and set sizes 1920 and height for this screen 950. Corner radius 20 and set this color. Ok, now we have our screen. Let's rename it screen. Ok, now I need to create proportional height for my desktop view. For this I am create another artboard, press A, select iPhone X and we have these sizes. I am copy high from this artboard, select my screen, lock sizes and paste this high. And now I have my screen with proportional high for mobile view. Now I am create another rectangle with sizes from this artboard place it to my mobile view and create guides for this width. Later you will see why I do this. Now I can delete this rectangle and this artboard. Let's add border for the screen. I'm copy and paste and my bottom layer will be border. I'm change color for this rectangle, add border size 10 and outer stroke. Ok, I have my screen with border and all what I need is place my project to this screen. But first of all we need to understand how masks works in Adobe XD. Ok, for understand masks let's use simple rectangles. When we have one rectangle and second rectangle. Our top layer, our top rectangle always will be our mask. It means that our green rectangle will be mask. One more time, our top layer will be area for our bottom layers in mask. And when we create mask, Ctrl Shift M, we will see our layers, but we can't move our top layer because it's just a rare for bottom layers in this mask. And of course mask work with groups. For example I have these two rectangles. I create group and place it behind my green rectangle and create mask. Again in mask we will see that our top green rectangle will be our mask and below this group with layers. We can't move our top layer in panel because it's just area but we can change size for our mask and move all layers inside this mask. Now with this knowledge we can place our project inside this screen. I am decided that I am using only top part of my project but without couple of layers. I am select all my layers and groups and simple copy and paste to my artboard for animation. Now you need to remember that when you create mask your top layer will be transparent and you need to create background for your mask. For this I am copy and paste the screen layer, place it below my project layers and rename it screen background. Now I select all my layers and my top layer will be our mask. Ctrl Shift M and we have project in this screen. Rename it project. Now I need fit my project to screen size. I am select all layers but without top layer in mask. 
scale and move project in mask and tada we have desktop screen for our animation now let's create mobile view i'm copy this project and paste to next artboard now i'm going to my mask select top layer unlock sizes and fit width to guides that i'm create before same things i do for my screen background and border okay we have mobile view i don't need these guides anymore hide all and at this moment i need to decide which layers i want to see on my mobile view for example i don't need this menu let's move to the right and set up us to zero add hamburger icon maybe bigger now i don't need this social media icon move to the left and set the pass to zero uh, this user icon and card uh, will be on mobile view but without this button set zero opacity for this button and move logo to the right make it smaller and we have our menu for mobile view i don't need this text uh, this arrow for slider will be smaller and now just resize some elements and place it in right place on mobile always when you create some elements you need to think how this element will look on mobile view okay now we can create animation and don't forget that for animation all your groups and layers must have the same names then your animation will work i'm select first artboard go into prototype uh, choose tap like a trigger auto animate easy in out and duration to second and now we can press ctrl enter and let's see what we have and tada we have responsive view uh, i have a little problem with hamburger icon and i think we can add some background for fix hamburger icon animation i'm going to my first robot and move this icon to the right set opacity to zero now i made uh, some background but on second artboard this background will be a little smaller in this case you will have more depth for your responsive animation and let's see final result that's all i hope you like it subscribe so you don't miss any videos follow me on instagram behinds and dribble accounts have a nice day and see you next time.